The sun and the moon are best friends, but it wasn't always that way. In fact, they are lucky to have found each other. The most unlikely pair, yes, but it's true. They found each other one day in a most unusual manner. As the moon was getting ready for a nap, a paper airplane hit her. Ow, what was that? She thought. She looked around and saw the tiny paper plane in front of her, slowly drifting its way back towards the always dull and gray earth. She unfolded the paper and was excited to see that the unknown sender had written a beautiful poem. The poem talked about green grass, vibrant blue seas filled with a rainbow of fish, and colors she had never even imagined. A world she never knew, but now longed to be a part of. The poem was simply signed, the sun. So she wrote back, Who are you? And from that day forward, they became pen pals. They described their world and shared poems and their deepest secrets. The sun loved this newfound friendship, but was saddened by the fact that he may never get to meet the person that's letters helped brighten his day even when the clouds were at their thickest. One day, as he was preparing for bed, he realized that his weekly letter hadn't come. He was sad. He missed his friend. Moon, where are your letters? Why did they stop? He sadly whispered to himself. His heart felt broken, and there was nothing to settle him that could brighten his mood. It was a day without rainbows, and not even the daily laughter of kids basking in his light or birds singing about his beauty could comfort him. And as it always does, and always will, time went by. Hours, then days. Days, then weeks. He'd almost given up on hearing from his friend. And then it happened. The birds' songs were silenced. The world seemed to go quiet. At first, he was worried that something was wrong. But then he realized that nothing was wrong. They were listening. The faint sound of a beautiful melody, a tune that the day had never heard. He looked up, and in the far distance he saw her. A figure with the blue halo that stark silhouette didn't match the world he knew. After a few moments, with the music growing louder, he realized what he was seeing. It was her. It was the moon. The tune flowed through the golden fields of wheat and over the deepest ocean. The sun's eyes began to fill with happy tears. He finally understood that he'd never lost his friend. All this time she was writing him a song, waiting for her one chance to meet him.